Hey, what's going on, guys? The Horror Man back with a controversial view. And it's the big one, guys. The one Jason and I have been building up to all year. The Day the Clown Cried. Hardcore cinephiles know all about this one. At least, they should. This is one of the most infamous lost films of all time. When it comes to cinema, it perfectly represents the phrase, highly sought after. That term describes no movie better than this one. As a matter of fact, it's pretty much the holy grail of lost cinema. The Day the Clown Cried is a 1972 film written by, directed by, and starring Jerry Lewis. This, however, is not a comedy, like for which he was so famously known. This is a movie about the Holocaust. Now, as I'm sure you know, Jerry Lewis was a Jewish comedian, actor, and director. Despite that, the storyline in this film is even a taboo subject for someone like him. Maybe even so much so that when the film was completed, Jerry Lewis decided it should never be released. To this day, the final cut has never seen the light of day. Prior to his death, Jerry Lewis donated his copy of the film to the Library of Congress. There was a stipulation, though. It could never be released until the earliest of 2025. So, who knows? Maybe two years from now, we'll all finally get to see it. If we're being realistic, though, I highly doubt it. Some sources say 2024, so maybe we'll get it next year, if ever. But, like I said, I very much doubt that. Who knows, though? Stranger things have happened, I guess. Fingers crossed. I've been intrigued, even a little, I'd say, obsessed, since I first heard about The Day the Clown Cried. Even with the knowledge that film historians weren't even able to watch the movie, I searched high and low for some sort of footage. Then it actually happened a few years back. The most complete version of the movie to ever be leaked was and i was able to capture it in the extremely limited amount of time before it was removed it has never since been leaked again watching it for that first time of many i was entranced but i wanted to share the experience because this movie should be seen and it's a shame that hardly anybody has had the opportunity to watch it. So, very early on, during the development of this controversial view series, I pitched the idea of highlighting The Day the Clown Cried to Jason, and he loved the idea. That's when we decided to hold off and be able to promote it throughout the year, as we have. Like I said, guys, this is the big one to which we've been building up. And don't worry, we have plenty more controversial views to come, including some other big ones we'll be promoting. But we felt the end of this first year of controversial view was the perfect time to discuss this. Jason and I watched The Day the Clown Cried multiple times together in preparation for these videos. Watching this film truly is an experience. We reminded ourselves how fortunate we are to be able to experience it. There have been papers written on The Day the Clown Cried, and documentaries filmed. There is so much mystery behind it all. Why did Jerry Lewis refuse to release it after putting so much time and effort into this passion project? Was it because of the taboo subject matter, or did something else go wrong? Many times, even after the fact, he refused to talk about the film and declined invitations to appear in those documentaries. 
The only thing he ever made clear is that no one would ever see it. There was even a case of multiple cast members accepting an invitation to appear in one of the documentaries and then canceling their appearances at the very last minute. All of them. All of them canceled. With the exception of one cast member who briefly spoke about his experience on the set, one other actress shared hers, but it was through an interview, so we've only ever gotten it through third-party perspective. The Day the Clown Cried was filmed in Sweden, which is significant if you have knowledge of history and specifically the Holocaust. It was said that Jerry Lewis had difficulty finding a location that satisfied him for the shoot. That actress I mentioned that did speak out during an interview mentioned the sets being beautiful. And from watching the film, I concur. The movie surprisingly and not surprisingly has been hailed as the world's worst film. I get the sentiment behind it, but having seen it, it's definitely not that. Dare I say, The Day the Clown Cried is a brilliant film. There were allegedly some controversies behind the scenes during the shooting of the movie. Apparently, Jerry Lewis was difficult to work with. Relationships were strained and even destroyed. And one source claimed he had an affinity for pain medication, since he hurt his back while filming. World's worst film, though? World's worst film? I think not. Now, because this is a sea view and not a review, I typically don't give a synopsis about the movies. In this case, however, I'm willing to make an exception, because chances are... You'll never see this film. Jerry Lewis plays a circus clown named Helmut Dork. Yes, Dork, with two O's. After being fired from his job, he turns to the bottle and gets drunk at a local bar. During this drunken outburst, he speaks negatively about Hitler in front of some Gestapo agents. So, he's imprisoned. At the prison camp, Helmut finds that his humor and clown persona is only appreciated by the Jewish children being held captive there as well. Despite being prohibited, he befriends them and continues to perform for them to keep them happy. The children love Helmut the Clown, but the Nazi commanders do not like the relationship he has built with them. That is, until they realize how they can utilize it to their benefit. After another prisoner in Helmut's camp is murdered in front of the children, Helmut himself is beaten. Later on, by mistake, Helmut is locked inside a train with the children. They are being taken from the prisoner camp to a new location. It's a building with no windows. And you can fill in the blanks. Helmet is ordered, if he wants to save his own life, to lead the children into the gas chamber. He requests some time with them before he must do so, and his request is granted. Helmet the clown gives the children their final performance as he leads them hand in hand to their inevitable deaths. Talk about a dark, morbid movie. But this is what makes The Day the Clown Cried so taboo. I've said in the past we can consider Controversial View as Controversial Views Day or Taboo Tuesday. And I'm not sure it gets any more taboo than this. Jerry Lewis, the wacky comedian most of us know as The Nutty Professor, made this movie. This is one of those rabbit hole films for me. I can dig deeper and deeper and deeper and probably never be satisfied. And I just realized how dirty that sounds. Truthfully though, The Day the Clown Cried is a movie that leaves me speechless, yet I can't stop talking about it if 
that makes sense. I hope we get an official release at some point. I do, but I doubt it. But I'm absolutely thrilled to have the most complete version of it. Until then. And maybe forever. So how was that for the final controversial view of 2023? Did it live up to the hype? I hope so. I think if you could watch the film, you would agree that it has. Chances are you'll also get that understanding from Jason's video, so please be sure to check that out. The Day the Clown Cried is the most controversial movie we've viewed so far, and probably ever will. As much as I wish you could all experience it, the chances of that are so slim. So Jason and I watched it, since you won't be able to. This is just my controversial view. Which controversial movie will we view next? Check back next year to find out. Until then, though, what are your thoughts on The Day the Clown Cried? Comment below and let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind. Subscribe.